What's up everyone, it is Yuga, Voice of the Dragon, and I have a very special video for you today. As the title shows, I am going to be sharing how I got initiated into radionics and how it changed my life. So the very beginning of the story, um, it starts around 2000, I wanna say 17 or 16? Yeah, 17, 2017. And I had come across the stone shungite and it wasn't anything special, it was just some rock shungite in little pouches and I had the description that it was good free water for purification and that's ultimately what led me down to this path but I will explain a little bit more um, I was working with shungite and trying to make shungite water but there's so much misinformation there's so much that I had to teach myself and because of my living circumstances and just the stuff that was happening in my life at the time I only could progress so much and I didn't really get to do too too much with it until another like year later. So back in 2018, I got myself a zero water filter because um I wanted to, I knew at this point I needed something to mediate between the shungite and the water. Just putting the water straight into the shungite is not the best. So as I was doing that, um, I was formulating a protocol and procedure to make shungite water. And the little bit that I had seen online was resourceful, but for the most part, I really had to figure it out myself. So playing around with that for a few months, um, I had an encounter with someone earlier that year, not that year, back in 2017. Sorry to jump back, but it, it's just something I remembered. So this man I had met, he had introduced me to what is known as Neodymia Magnets. And he just told me they're the strongest rare earth magnet available commercially. And that really intrigued my interest as far as what capabilities they could do with crystals. As far as crystal healing goes. It wasn't anything scientific, it was more metaphysical and kind of pseudoscience. At least from my perspective. But, um, I ordered some Neodymia Magnets and I knew Shungite had conductive properties. So I had the idea, what if you can mix the shungite with the neodymium magnets? What type of effect would that create energetically and for healing purposes? And I didn't know too much about that. And so I was playing with the magnets near the shungite water. And once I had my system set up, there was a bunch of crystals and I cleared off most of the crystals. And I was just rearranging magnets, playing with them, trying to get the attraction but not too much so there was a kind of pull and I just had some crazy ideas I was playing with and one thing led to another led to another and for the next few days after receiving the magnets and playing with them I kept hearing the words radon and radionics in my head distinctively and it was something I was not familiar with I didn't even know if those were real and so I I, I caved in and my interest was piqued and so I looked up radon first on Google, and it turns out to be a, uh, one of the elements on the periodic table. So I thought that was kind of cool. I'm not sure how it was related, and I'm still not sure why it was something that happened. Anyways, then I looked up radionics, and bam, that was exactly what I was working with. I was working with Shungite and Neodymium Magnets, and now that I understand those two a little bit better... I was working with an electromagnetic field. Shungite is a semiconductor at, at best, or at, least, at worst. A superconductor at best, it depends on who you ask in terms of science and physics. But placing the Shungite with the neodymium magnets created a radionic field, and I was tapping into the radionic field. And I kid you not, this field is alive and intuitive, very intuitive. And it was teaching me and guiding me on the different poles that I should be using for magnetism and how to rearrange the magnets with the shungite. And as I was doing freeze tests for quality control, and that's all I was trying to do. I wasn't trying to do the stuff that people do with organite or tensor rings. I literally was just trying to do a simple freeze test, same concept, but I'm not looking for anything in the ice. I'm looking for crystal clear quality, like just crystal clear, you don't see anything. And once I got the magnets and I was doing the freeze test, I kept seeing little lines of energy. And these little lines were frustrating to get because I was like, why am I getting this? My PPM is next to zero. There's nothing in the water that I'm not aware of. 
and I keep saying these lines. And the longer the Shungai charged with the magnets and the water, the more predominant the lines became. And I want to say it took about a month to realize this, but then I realized, oh man, this is something. I found something, and I need to look into it a little bit more. And so as I was testing and researching, I was intuitively given the information that what I was creating was what was called H3O. And it left it at that. Now, H3O is not structured water, chemically speaking, but H3O2 has been known to be associated with structured water. And I came across... Oh, something else I need to mention. So I was told specifically by the radionics field that the U.S. government had spent a lot of money researching and developing structured water, but they can never perfect it. And then I came across a video on YouTube, and these guys that were working with structured water were ex, um, not black op, but black project scientists for the government, and they had created their own structured water system. It's called, I um, can't remember at the top of my head. It's like Divinia water or something along the lines of that. I can look it up later and figure it out, but I need to record this. So it was very interesting to say the least to find out one that I've been working with radionics and it was confirmed by my cognitive abilities, not cognitive, my clairvoyant abilities and clairsentience. And I was intuitively and telepathically talking with the radionic field for quite a while. And that's pretty much the sum of the story of what initially got me into radionics. And I've been working and perfecting the science and techniques that I use to work with radionics to this day still. But in the months that came before and the months that followed after that experience with the radionic field, a lot of transitional things and experiences happened in my life. Before I met the radionic field and worked with radionics, I was able to meet the fifth Mayan crystal skull that is known, the Mitchell Hedges skull. And I had done a special ceremony with that. And I feel like the crystal skull elevated whatever it was that was inside of me. And it gave me the wisdom to access the information to work with structured water and create this technology or recreate it, however you want to say. And that afterwards, I had gone through a very dark transitional period in my life where I had come across human trafficking and I was doing vigilante work. And I got hurt pretty bad doing that. And, but at the same time, I came across someone that ended up being the most inspirational being in my life and the most intense and passionate relationship I've had with another human being. But looking back, on the capabilities of the water itself. I know this is more about radionics, but radionics and water is very important. And I wanted just to clarify my work with water. So as you know, my name is Yuga. But Yuga, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean what it means on Google Translate. And I know that Google Translate has a bad rep. But as I've come across people from Japan, they've explained to me that Yuga essentially means a perfected stain of a perfected state and constant refinement it's a mouthful but that's essentially what yuga means and to see that refinement in the water and have it manifest through me through my own efforts and ambitions it's like things came full circle and they're still spiraling and going in all kinds of directions and it's really cool to witness this experience spiritually with water but i'll go ahead and end things here i hope you enjoyed the story this is a very personal journey for me and it's a big part of my life's work working with water and radionics but thank you for sticking around if you did and i really appreciate what you guys do for me i've been getting a lot more views and a lot more likes on my videos and if you're one of the newer ones i really hope you guys enjoyed this so blessed be happy new years and Draco Hicksunt.